Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be finally a review. I just got out of the shower by the way. Pasensya niyo na yung afternoon towel. Um, today I will be trying out the new Daiso sponges for the first time. So um, first nakita ko to, it's like a um, a sponge, a makeup sponge, but an egg-shaped sponge. But the difference is it has like this flat edge right there. Can you see that? But it's a flat edge. Oh, it looks kind of like the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion sponge. That was the other end is just like a your typical pointed egg-shaped sponge. It does feel a bit um, hard kapag dry pa siya, but let's see how it works kapag um, I dampen it. And um, pagbalik ko sa Daiso, I found this parang concealer sponge na merong handle. So I wanted to try it out for myself as well. It's called the Olive Cut Sponge Brush. Although it's not a brush, it's a sponge. So ganito, it's from the brand Pink Blossom. Tapos, itong for the face, this one, is also from the brand Pink Blossom. It's just called the Oval Sponge Blending Sponge. And it says here, soft and comfortable, easy to clean, latex-free, and non-allergenic. That's good. By the way, 88 pesos lang ito each. So very, very affordable. This one, yung um, concealer sponge, meron din siyang flat edge dyan. So that would be good for the concealer. Tapos, on the other side, medyo, you know, just your typical sponge na parang... I'll go ahead and dampen this and siguro sasabunan ko muna bago ko ilagay sa aking face and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so nabasa ako na nga yung sponge and naloka ako. Look! It's so freaking big! That's what she said. Ang laki-laki! That's what she said. As in, lumaki siya ng bongga guys. Like look, siguro twice its size. I was shocked. Ang laki niya. Like, I will do a comparison siguro dito sa siguro pictures. Um, kung gano'n siya kalaki nag-expand. As in, look. Ang laki-laki. Kasi laki ng pisngi ko. Kaya lang, itong um, concealer sponge, hindi siya nag-expand whatsoever. And medyo mahirap siyang hugasan. Kasi, um, I washed it. Like, sinabunan ko siya bago ko siya ilagay sa face ko. Siyempre, medyo hindi ko siya masyarong gusto kasi mahirap siyang hugasan. Siyempre naman kasi may handle siya. And hindi siya nag-expand. But let's see how it works naman, di ba? Okay, so I've already um, moisturized my face and hindi siguro ako magpa-primer. Alright, so now let's start the application process. I have a bit of foundation right here and siguro I will, um, how should I do this? Let me take it on the sponge itself and, oh, dito tayo mag-start. Oh, it does feel a bit hard, you guys. Matigas siya. It's not as soft as the Real Technique sponge or yung, uh, yung lumang sponge ng Daiso. That one was really very soft kapag dinampin mo na siya. It literally felt like the, almost felt like the Real Technique sponge. Wala kasi ako ng Beauty Blender so hindi ko siya ma-compare with the Beauty Blender. Kasi wala ako nun. Mahal. <laughs> Pero okay naman, no? Okay siya mag-apply ng foundation. Yan nga lang, medyo matigas siya, kaya... At saka ang laki. <laughs> medyo mahirap siyang hawakan. Pero for 88 pesos, okay na okay na to as in. I cannot complain. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Ang ganda, no? Wala na kagawin mo sabi. It blends the foundation very seamlessly. Tignan mo, ang ganda na finish ng foundation. Parang airbrush yung peg. In fairness guys, ang ganda talaga niya mag-blend ng foundation. I mean, I'm holding the mirror really close to my face. Tapos magnified mirror pa to. Ang ganda niya. Walang streakiness. Wala. Tapos pinakpat ka lang na ito, di ba? Super bilis lang. I build up niya foundation. Dito sa ano, yung meron akong blemishes. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ang dami kong pimples na nandito near my kilay. I don't know. Look, effortless lang yung pag-blend ng foundation. <laughs> Ganda. Super dali lang mag-blend. 
na foundation with its flat edge. Especially dito sa cheeks. Alright, there we go. Natapos ko na itong side ng face ko. And look at that. Ang ganda. Wala akong reklamo whatsoever with the sponge. So, hindi ko na talaga makover yung napakalaki yung pimple na yan. Kasi talagang rumarapture siya ng bongga-bongga. Pero, look at that. Ito walang foundation. Ito meron. Ang ganda. Parang, parang lang siyang natural finish char. Kaya lang medyo, medyo plakadong plakado ang coverage ng foundation ko ngayon. So, for this sponge, it can deliver full coverage kahit na super natural lang yung finish niya and very easy to use. <laughs> Mamaya, kung hugasan ko siya para ma-report ko sa inyo kung talagang totoo na very easy to clean siya. So, siguro tatapusin ko muna yung face ko para magamit natin yung sponge para sa under eyes. Nalagyan ko na ng foundation konti <laughs> yung under eyes ko. Pero, Let's wipe it away. Ayan. I wiped it away. It's like, I'll be back. Alright. Tapos na ako sa aking funda. Ayan. Full face. And now, I'm going to apply my concealer just under my eyes. And I'm going to use this tool. So usually, I just apply a few dots under my eyes like this. And I apply it on my eyelid as well. Let's see how this works. It's hard. Matigas tong ano, sponge na to. And it's not super easy to use. Parang hindi siya nakakatulong sa pag-blend ng concealer. Like, look. It just ate up my concealer. Like, talo, tawa mong kainin yung concealer. Ilagay mo siya sa under eyes ko. <sighs> right off the bat, I don't like it. Anyway, let's try that again. So, yung gagamitin ko is the same big sponge tapos yung pointy edge yung gagamitin ko. Medyo mahirap siyang i-pinch ng ganito kasi matigas nga siya. Pero hindi naman super tigas. Like, siguro I'm just used to other sponges na malambot. Okay, so, this one definitely worked a lot better on my under eyes compared to the sponge with a handle. Pero hindi ko pa rin siya favorite. Like, I think this is way better for foundation compared to concealer. So, dito sa other side ng aking under eyes, I'd rather use my finger. Mas bet ko pa yung coverage using my finger. And mas bet ko yung finish kasi mas full coverage. Hey guys! So, I'm home! And hindi ko pala na-close itong video na ito properly. So, um, I just wanted to say that this sponge right here, I've been gone for about 11 to 12 hours. And look, malaki pa rin siya. Pasensya na marumi siya ka, diba? Ginamit na lang na. So, it's still pretty big, you guys. Pero not as big as kanina. Well, actually, it's still pretty big, actually. Yeah, it's still really damp. So, okay to kung dalhin mo siya sa makeup bag mo. Tapos, kung may nakita kang medyo naging cakey, Eh, ganyan mo lang, tapos magiging okay na kasi sometimes that happens. So, bongga to kasi nag-hold talaga siya ng moisture. I like this. For 88 pesos, you cannot go wrong. It's such a nice product. And then, kung tatanungin niyo ako, um, would I recommend this over the Real Techniques one? No. Kasi mas maganda talaga yung sponge from Real Techniques because it really feels very spongy, mas malambot, and way, way easier to work with. Pero if you're on a tight budget, kahit na hindi, kahit na gusto mo lang siya itry, go ahead, itry mo siya kasi ang ganda-ganda niya. Kaya, pumunta na kayo sa malapit na Daiso sa inyo kasi I'm sure malapit lang mauubos itong sponge na ito. Bumili na ako ng mga tatlo kasi <laughs> wala lang. <laughs> So, mag-update na ako mamaya kung talagang totoo na super madali siyang linisin and kung hindi siya masisira agad after ko siyang labhan. Kasi yung old sponge ko from Daiso din, nabili ko to like one year ago. It's this one right here. Ito, super ganda nito you guys as in. Wala akong complaints dito as in. Well, actually, merong isa. Yung isang complaint ko about dito is kahit na nung first time ko pa lang siyang hinugasan, um, meron na siyang parang punit-punit na ganap sa kanya. So, merong isang parang, parang nag-crack siya dyan. I don't know if you can see. Tapos may isa pa. I don't know where it is. Pero, yun lang yung um, isang hindi ko gusto sa kanya. But, it performs really, really well. It feels very spongy. 
medyo malapit yung texture niya dun sa real techniques na sponge. Pero ito, malayo yung texture niya sa real techniques na sponge. Kasi it doesn't feel spongy at all. It feels kind of smooth. So, medyo parang latex yung feeling niya. Pero latex free daw siya. Pero, ang importante is madali siyang gamitin sa pag-blend ng foundation. And even for concealer. And I also use this for baking. And... Okay, siya you guys. I like it so much for baking. Um, I baked my whole face today. Tinray ko siya. So, yon. Okay, siya effective. Kasi andito pa rin yung makeup ko. Para wala nang hulas na ano, na makeup kahit na I'm so oily. And, yeah, pa-pasensya na na yung oil sa face ko kasi. Ganyan talaga yan. So, yon. For now, I love this product so much. Kaya lang, yung isang tinray ko, this one is a no-go. Pangit siya. As in, it just eats up all of the product. Wala siyang dinidispense sa mata mo kung meron man super konti lang. So, kinakain niya yung product. Sayang yung product. And, mahirap pa siyang linisin. Mahirap, mahirap siyang hugasan. Kasi nga, naka-attach siya dito. So, oh, it's still super wet. My goodness. Tapos, hindi siya lumalaki, you guys. And, it's not that soft. So, hindi siya madaling gamitin na i-blend sa iyong concealer. So, this one is a no-no for me. Siguro pass na lang kayo dito. And instead, just get two of these, di ba? <laughs> Kasi yung old sponge ko, nung nalaman ko na gustong-gusto ko siya, nung bumalik ako sa Daiso, wala nang stock, kakaloka. So, nung nakita ko na mayroong bagong sponge from Daiso, I literally ran to Daiso and got my very own Daiso sponge. Kasi, favorite ko nga yung luma, di ba? So, yon. Anyway, I'll be back later para ma-update ko kayo kung super dalingan niya hugasan. Okay guys, so I literally just finished washing the sponge and tignan niyo ang linis-linis na niya. And it's so big again. <laughs> ang cute-cute! Oh. oh, by the way, iba na yung suot ko kasi nag-film ako ng try-on and I put on this um, new headband that I got today from Forever 21. Ang cute-cute! So, totoo nga guys, it's really very easy to clean. Like, ilang ganyan ko lang and natanggal na yung foundation and concealer and powder dito sa sponge. I'm liking it so far for 88 pesos. Totoo talaga, sulit na sulit na ang pera mo sa pagbili nito for 88 pesos. Tapos hindi din siya madaling masira kahit na ginanyan-ganyan ko siya paglinis. Walang rips na nangyari or cuts or whatsoever. So, this is a bonga product for me. Bonggang bongga siya para sa akin. So, yun guys. That is it for my first impressions on the Daiso sponge. I think it is worth it. Bongga siya. Go ahead and buy it kasi madaling maubos ito. And if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed watching, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel para kasali ka sa ating virtual family. And don't forget to click the notification bell para notified ka every time I upload a new video which is every other day, sometimes even more than every other day. Also, leave me your comments in the comment section below kung nag-try nyo na itong product na ito. Gusto nyo ma-share yung experience nyo sa product na ito. And wala lang, kung meron kayong comments, suggestions, or whatsoever, I always reply to comments and I love reading your comments. So, um, again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all and hopefully, I will see you in the next one. So, welcome back to my channel. I know I look a bit weird, but I'm going to film the intro. So, I'm going to film the intro. Today, I'll be doing the how I did my makeup before. So, here's a sneak peek. Oh, <laughs> I'm 